So now let me take one group G equal to the simplest group with us is integers with respect to addition. And we will take a subgroup of the set of integers. Now uh, let H be a subgroup. Now we know that uh, the set of integers has infinite groups, uh, infinite subgroups. And what are the subgroups given by? The subgroups are given by nz. So 2z, 3z, 4z, 5z, all are what? All are subgroups of z. This we have covered in our previous videos also. Right. So I will now here I will choose the subgroup is what? I will simply choose the subgroup 3z. So what is z containing of? Z is containing of all integers 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on. Okay, and what is the set 3z containing of? 3z contains all multiples of 3. So I will take 0 plus minus 3 plus minus 6 and so on. So this is what? This is a set 3z. Now this is a subgroup. Now what I will do? I will find the cosets. So I will find I will find some cosets for you now. So find the cosets. I will write which cosets we are supposed to find. The very first coset that I'm going to find is I'm going to find 1 plus 3z. Now, what is the meaning of 1 plus 3z? Don't you see that it looks of the form a star h? Okay, this is my h. What is the operation star here? The operation star is plus. Who is a? A is 1. The second coset that we will find will be 2 star h means 2 plus 3z. 2 plus 3z is the third uh, second coset. Third coset, let me take 3 plus 3z. We will find these three cosets, okay? And see what they come up to be. So if I draw the picture now, let me draw the picture for you. So the set of integers I'm going to denote in this big set. This is the set of all integers for which I will corner all the elements of H on this side. The elements of H are 0, 3, 6, dot, dot, dot. There are infinite elements, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9, and so on. Okay, this is what? This is my subgroup 3Z, which is H. Okay, now let us choose an element which is outside the set, which is called, which is the element one. Okay, and I will form a first left coset will be one plus h means one star h. Let me write it as initially. Let me write it as one star h, which is one plus h. But who is h? One plus three z. This one I will add to all the elements of all the elements of 3z so let me write the elements of 3z here so this is 1 plus 0 3 6 9 minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 and so on and when i add this one to all the elements of the set inside i am going to get 0 plus 1 is 1 4 7 10 dot 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 this is minus 2 minus 5 minus 7 sorry minus 8 and so on so these elements are elements of what see one is also there okay one with the four then seven ten dot 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 then minus two minus five minus eight dot 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 so this set is now what the set is becoming the coset which is 3z 1 plus 3z okay do you see that this 1 plus 3z the first coset that we have calculated is not a subgroup why it is not a subgroup because it does not have what it does not have identity zero the identity in this set is what zero now let us calculate the second coset the second coset is 2 plus 3z so second calculation let us calculate 2 star h, which is 2 plus 3z. Where is 2? Where is 2 in the picture? 2 is neither in h. Do you see that 2 is not an element of h? 2 is also not an element of 1 plus 3z. So 2 is somewhere sitting outside. Okay. So 2 is sitting outside. Now I'm going to 
create the coset of from two. So I will have two plus three z will be how much? Zero, three, six, nine, and dot 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 minus three, minus six, and so on. Which is uh, equal to what? Which is equal to two, five, eight, eleven, dot dot dot, and this will be minus one, minus four, and so on. So now let me write these elements: two, five, eight, eleven, two, then five, eight. 11 and so on and the remaining elements are what minus 1 minus 4 and so on okay so this is the second coset the name of this coset is what the name of this coset is 2 plus 3 z now let us calculate the third coset which is 3 plus h 3 plus h what is 3 plus h which is 3 plus h what are the elements of h let me write down the elements of h here 0, 3, 6, 9, and so on, minus 3, minus 6, and so on. Now, if I add 3 to all of them, 3 plus 0 will become 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 6 is 9, and so on. 3 plus 0 is 3, so is 3, 3 plus minus 3 is 0, and 3 plus minus 6 is minus 3, and so on. And you will observe that this person is nothing but what? This is again. 3z. Now, why does this happen? This happens because 3 in the above figure, you see that 3 is already a member of that particular subgroup, right? So, if you take an element which is already in the subgroup and if you try to find out the coset of H by that element, what will happen? you will get the, we observe that we are getting the same subgroup back. We are not getting th anything different. So what will be, so this means that if I look in this, in this figure carefully now, okay, I observe that this H is not only 3Z plus H, but it can also be written as what? 3 plus 3Z because 3 plus 3Z is also coming to be the same thing. So I can also call this particular set 1 plus 3Z. I can also give it as a different name. Now, can you guess what is that different name? 1 plus 3Z because 1 is there. So this coset can also be written as what? It also can be written as 4 plus 3Z. You will get the same number. Same element. So 4 plus 3z is same as 1 plus 3z. And what about this person? This 2 plus 3z can be written as what? As 5 plus 3z. Do you see that there is some relation between this? The, you know, this is something which we have already discussed in our previous classes. Okay. 3, three is treated. So, so, so what is happening here? 4 plus 3z looks like 1 plus 3z. 7 plus 3z also looks like what also looks like 1 plus 3z 5 plus 3z and 8 plus 3z they also look like what 2 plus 3z right do you see that something is looking like modulo 3 operation is going on here right in mo modulo 3 what is 8 equal to 8 is the same as 2 right 5 is the same as 2 modulo 3 4 is also same as what 4 is same as 1. Modulo what? Modulo 3. Modulo 3. Okay. So this is just an analogy. We will later on prove that they are actually, uh, these cosets are nothing but what? These cosets are nothing but elements of what? Elements of Zn. Okay. So this is 0 bar, 1 bar and 2 bar. It is representing 0 bar, 1 bar and 2 bar. Okay. So th this is how we have found out the three cosets.